Arsenal 3, West Ham United 1. Unai Emery's first competitive victory as Arsenal manager. A crucial three points for us. But the first thing I'd say to those who haven't seen the match is do not be fooled by the scoreline. Particularly in the first half, West Ham created the better chances, carved us open with ease and should have scored, I'd say, at least three times. Snodgrass missed an absolute sitter just before half-time and had Antonio looked up, he could have squared a ball to Arnautovic who'd have rolled the ball into the net. Thankfully, West Ham's lead only lasted five minutes. Hector Bellerin managed to get down the right-hand side and play a dangerous ball across the penalty area and there was Nacho Monreal to take a touch before lashing it into the back of Fabianski's net. Bellerin has been heavily criticised in the early weeks of this season, even by me, but one thing that's becoming clearer the more we watch Unai Emery's side is that he's heavily relied upon to provide the team's width. The fact that Henrik Mkhitaryan tucks into that inside right position and always awaits the overlapping run only reinforces the argument that this is part of the boss's instructions. But it leaves us exposed defensively, of course it does. But you've got to assume that Emery hopes he can correct the imbalance in another way, probably by getting one of his defensive midfielders to step into the vacant space and plug the hole. The point I'm making is that Bellerin is doing what he's been asked to do. If he wasn't, he'd have made way for Stefan Licksteiner by now. There are now those who pose the question of whether Bellerin could play as a right winger with Licksteiner behind him. And my personal view on that is, no, he can't. When you attack from a fullback position, the main reason you find yourself with such a lot of space is because you're arriving from deep, undetected. And unless the winger is going to follow you all the way back, which very rarely happens, you're going to find yourself in acres of space. The fullback is essentially what we call the overload. Playing as a winger, you don't have that luxury and therefore you require a different skill set. You'll likely be man-marked and shouldn't have such freedom. It seems to me like Nacho Monreal on the other side is a lot more balanced in his play and hence why he doesn't seem to be exposed as often. But I just think we need to give Hector a break as I'm now convinced he's been instructed to bomb forward as often as he does. As for the rest of the defence, I feel as though Socrates is slowly growing into his role. He was very vocal against West Ham, often instructing his partner when and how much to push forward and took a very useful yellow card for us late on. Whilst I still think he's lacking in technical ability, he's shown he'll throw his body in the way when it matters and isn't afraid to get his hands dirty. I thought Granit Xhaka had a good game yesterday and he needed it to at least temporarily silence some of his critics. He dictated our play for large periods and made us tick. Always willing to collect the ball from the defence and set us on our way. There were glimpses of his excellent passing range too as he played some of his trademark crossfield passes, most notably to Hector Bellerin and Mikitarian. Aside from the obvious defensive deficiencies, my biggest concern is the lack of fluidity in our play. We seem to be short of ideas in the final third unless we're attacking via the fullbacks. I'm not saying for a minute that I don't believe in Emery's vision or that I wish Arsene Wenger was back, but we were certainly more free-flowing under the Frenchman and having seen that type of football for so many years, I'm struggling to adapt. Another point I'd like to make this week is regarding Emery's insistence on playing out from the back when we have a goal kick. I understand the theory, the centre-half spread in order to receive the ball, but far too often when Mustafi or Socrates receive it, they just end up playing it straight back to the keeper, which suggests one of two things. Either A, they're not sure of the next move and so play it back to the keeper, or B, whichever option we're trying to create keeps getting shut down by our opponents, in which case that approach may need to be adapted a little. Just a few observations there, but the main thing is we got the three points. We face Cardiff next week, who under Neil Warnock will work hard, get in our faces, and we'll need to be on top of our game. There aren't any easy fixtures in this league anymore, and so there's no room for complacency. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and look out for the weekly podcasts over on iTunes, SoundCloud, Acast, and FNX.